This week, thousands of Britons are clearing up after the devastating effects of Storm Babette. But a year ago today, a different kind of hurricane had hit the country's economy. Ex-Chancellor Rishi Sunak stepped in to restore the Tories' reputation. This government will have integrity, professionalism and accountability at every level. Sunak might have been given the job 12 months ago, but we had to wait three more months before he set out his five targets for his premiership in January. We will halve inflation, grow the economy, reduce debt, cut waiting lists and stop the boats. Nine months on, illegal channel crossings are down by a fifth due to a deal with Albania. But the policy's ultimate success won't be known until the Supreme Court rules on the legality of processing new arrivals in Rwanda in coming weeks. Another target is similarly at risk from the stormy political weather. NHS waiting lists have soared, not helped by repeated strikes by health staff. The other three are in better shape. National debt has fallen slightly, while the economy has shown signs of anemic growth. So Rishi Sunak did steady the ship after Liz Truss, calming down financial markets. But I think his economic stewardship has been pretty otherwise lacklustre. We've dodged recession, but growth remains slow and taxes are high. Inflation's fallen to 6.7%, but it's still high compared to the US and Europe. And Sunak may miss his pledge to half inflation to 5%, by the end of the year. Look, elections are won and lost overwhelmingly on the economy, and so far, I don't think Sunak's done enough. A series of morale sapping by election defeats for the Tory party won't have helped. People told me that it was not possible to win this seat in this by-election, and you absolutely smashed it. What a result, what a piece of history that you have been part of. Sunak went onto the front foot in September by setting out a slower rate at which the UK can cut greenhouse gas emissions. The test should be, do we have the fairest credible path to reach net zero by 2050 in a way that brings people with us? Now, since I've become Prime Minister, I've examined our plans and I don't think they meet that test. There was an immediate uptick in the party's fortunes at the polls. Tories on the right wing of the party wanted to see more, but it never came. The best Sunak could offer at the party's conference in Manchester was a final axing of the HS2 rail route to Manchester. I say to those who backed the project in the first place, the facts have changed. And the right thing to do when the facts change is to have the courage to change direction. The passing of his first year anniversary as Tory leader means that Conservative MPs can now start to submit letters of no confidence in his leadership. Any protest will only be symbolic, however, as in truth, Sunak's leadership is safe until the next general election. And if last week's by-elections are a guide, that verdict by the voters will make this weekend's rain and flooding look like the calm before the electoral hurricane in a few months' time.